Hello, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel, Victoria Physics. I hope you all are fine. We were doing GNU plot and I hope our previous lecture was helpful for you all. And a few more styling um, of the graph is left. So we'll continue with that before proceeding with the function plotting. And uh, we have uh, plotted uh, sin x and sum of e to the power x and all. We have also seen the Gaussian function plotting of that. In our previous uh, class or previous lecture, as you can say, we have done how to uh, uh, actually make the range of the axis and how to um, set the range and limit of x and y axis, how to style your graph with line, with point, and also the usage of the commands of point size and line width and all those. So just to recapitulate a bit, um, suppose uh, I write PL sine X, which is same as plot sine X, PLOT, plot sine of X. Suppose I plot this with point, uh, and the point size I consider as three. So pressing enter, I find a beautiful graph is being fetched in front of me, a two dimensional graph uh, in a separate window is being given. And um, over here, just to recapitulate, these limit of the axis of X and Y axis were not provided by us. It is taken by GNU plot as its own. And uh, the legend is being fetched right at the corner. And you can see the point type we have chosen as three. So it is giving us uh, this variation of a star. If um, I mention, suppose let's take uh, EL cos X with line. And suppose take the line color as four. So you get the graph of cos x, same again, we haven't mentioned any x and y axis range, so it is taking on its own. And uh, the color that we have chosen has fetched you a graph in the orangish state. So this is the basics that we have done. We have also, um, learned the usage of um, uh, setting the range. Suppose if I want to, uh, just to recapitulate, uh, I have set PL, uh, one second, PL. And then I have mentioned, say, minus 100 to 100. I hope you remember this section. And then setting of the y-axis, I have given minus five to five, whatever I have done earlier, I'm just uh, trying to recapitulate for you all and say I have taken cos x. I don't remember the function what I have taken then, cos x, suppose I take. And I want to plot this with line. So this is how you mention your ranges the X range, the Y range, and then the function, and also then the styling of the function. So I get this, cos X is being shown here, and the range is being uh, labeled according to our uh, requirement. So uh, the next thing that I want to tell you over here is that uh, we can use the command x range to set the range, as I've mentioned earlier, but I haven't shown that. So now I will show you the other way of setting the range with the command. So if you write, um, suppose I write plot, I want to plot a different function, plot uh, 2 cos, uh, say, 3x. 2 cos 3x, okay? And this is 2 cos 3x. 
Now I want to set the X range of this graph. So I want to write set X range. Just the same uh, as in Python we have done. So X range will do minus 100 to 100. Okay. And then replot the graph. So our plotting of 2 cos 3x with the range minus 100 to 100 is being shown here now. So our x range is being set from minus 100 to 100 and y range is being taken uh, by its own. And we have seen the legend here and the color, I haven't mentioned anything. So it is taking by default. Now, if I want to uh, use the y range command, what will I write? I'll just write here, set y range minus 5 to 5 and same as previous, replot the function. So now you see this very function is being plotted with our required range from minus 100 to 100 and y range is being set from minus 5 to 5. So this is uh, one way where you can uh, set the range of your plot and this is another way by which you can also set the range of your x and y axis, okay? I hope this much is clear. Okay, if you have any queries, you can drop in the question in the chat box. Now, uh, let's go back to our first graph, okay? So I just want to show that. Say, sine x, Okay, plot sin x. So enter plot sin x. Now, I want to label this axis. So what will I do? Labeling of the axis, you have to set the label. So set x label is the command to set the label for the x axis. So I'll write set x label. Okay, this is the command for setting the label of the x axis. In inverted commas, you can write uh, say uh, suppose x axis. Okay, and set y label suppose this as y axis. I'm just arbitrarily taking. You can, if you are doing a graph uh, related to, uh, say, heat and temperature, so you can uh, plot. Like uh, in one axis, you can write the uh, heat and the other axis, you can write the temperature and time graph. Or if you're doing Ohm's law, then voltage and time graph. Okay, so uh, you can do these labeling. So I'm just mentioning over here, setting of X label as X axis, Y label as Y axis. And then I'm replotting the graph once again to see whether my labeling of the axis is properly done or not, okay? So press enter, yes. You can see the names have arrived at this part. So this is my x-axis, this is my y-axis. The labeling of x and y-axis are being shown. Now, I want to also use a title for my graph. So if I write set, Title. This is the command for setting title to my graph. So I'll write this my 
graph. Suppose this is the title of my graph. And okay, I have made a spelling error over there. I'm retyping re again. T I T L E title, set title. And I write my graph and press. Then I write replot and enter. So now you see at the top center, I have the title of my graph, which I have named as my graph. Now I have the X axis as the label of the X axis and this Y axis is the label of my Y axis. Okay, so I can, uh, I have introduced the label, uh, the title and the usage of X range command and Y range command over here, okay? Okay, uh, I see a good question in my WhatsApp group. I, I will try to answer that, okay. A, a student have inquired that how will I mention a pi in this range? Suppose two pi to minus two pi to pi that you want to know, right? Okay. So I'll show you how you can write that. Suppose um, I want to set the range from um, say minus pi to pi. So set the x range, okay? X range, sorry x range from minus pi. So you have to write uh, the pi not with a symbol, but in this format, pi. Okay, so minus pi to pi. And again, you have to do replot. Okay, so replot. And now you can see the graph. So the graph changes accordingly, according to the X range that we have set, okay? And whatever you set, just make sure you uh, use the command replot to uh, see the changes in the graph. Okay, moving on to our next part, we can also set grid. So suppose I set grid over here, set grid. And check how it comes, okay? So now you can see, just like our graph paper, I have fine lines uh, along the X and Y axis, which uh, actually helps you to measure accurately each and every section of the plotted graph, okay? Also, you can set uh, borders. So suppose, let's see. Set border and uh, say the border uh, will be of line with say three. Again, replot and check. So now you can see that the borders around the graph have become uh, more dark in color because we have taken the line width as three. Okay, now if I change this to uh, say five, it will be even more, sorry, sorry. It will be even more um, wider than previous one. Okay, so just make uh, variations and check on your own. In this way, you'll learn more, okay? And uh, so we have done uh, labeling of the axis, uh, how to set the title of your graph and how to set grid in the graph, how to use um, borders and also how to use the function of X range and Y range. One more thing, uh, very important uh, question uh, is that, uh, you don't have to remember these points, okay? Um, one student have asked me, ma'am, uh, how will we remember which um, uh, number indicates which color, which point indicates which 
point tie. Uh, well, you don't have to remember. You can just arbitrarily use uh, any of them and check. And if you want to see, uh, you can write uh, test in this section and you'll get a list. And from there, you can also use the numbers and the point types accordingly. So over here, you can see all the point types are shown. Uh, there is triangle, square, there is a star, plus, solid square, solid uh, circle, everything. And also the colors corresponding to each numbers are shown over here. You can see pattern fill, which uh, patterns you like. The dash type uh, is there, is from one to five points are shown. Also the line width uh, is also shown here, like the line width one, you can see it's very fine. And as you uh, increase the number, it's becoming wider and darker. So this, I guess, will be helpful, but we usually don't use the in, in this format. And what I do is I arbitrarily give the numbers and see whether it suits my requirement or not and change that, okay? Okay, I hope uh, this part is clear now. If you have any kind of queries, uh, just drop the question in the chat box. I'll be looking into the chat box and also uh, revert back to you, okay? Thank you so much.